Hi, I'm John from Laguna Tools, and I'm one of the technicians here, and I have another Laguna Tools tech tip for you guys today. And this one is on the handheld controller, and it's there's three ways that you can actually move the gantry or the spindle around your, your tabletop, and I will demonstrate those three ways. The first way, the first way to do it is continuous. And anytime it says continue down here in the lower screen, as long as you hit the plus button on the Y or X, it'll move in that direction to you take your hand off the button. And you can drive, drive the Z down, the Z is a minus movement, or Z plus, and it'll move up. When you are jogging it around, you have two different jog speeds that you can jog at. Currently, I'm in the fast speed, so it says F is in fast SP. Now I'm gonna push the high-low button, and now it's gonna read over here LSP. Now as I jog it, it's moving considerably slower. You can adjust those jog speeds by hitting the stop cancel button one time and it brings up your slow jog speed. Mine currently is set at 1,000. To change it, you just hit the run, pause, delete, and you can change it from anywhere, whatever way you'd like to change it to. Okay, so that's continuous jog. Now we're gonna move into, hit the mode button, which moves it into step jog. In step jog, depending if you're in high speed or low speed, if you're in high speed, which I'll turn it right now, each time I hit the button, it's gonna move a half a millimeter. And you can probably can't see that, but it's moving a half a millimeter and you can see it on the screen here. If I'm in low jog speed and I do the same thing, it's gonna move a tenth of a millimeter. And that you definitely will not see. Where I use this is sometimes setting my Z zero. And I will demonstrate that. I'm gonna go back into continuous jog speed and jog down my Z axis and get it fairly close. That looks good. And now I'm gonna step into, push my mode button and now I'm in step jog and I'm gonna leave it in high speed and hit the X minus button and it's moving a half a thousand, so I'm gonna get real close, go back to the low jog speed, and I'm putting my little feeler gauge in there, and I'm just moving at a tenth of a time each time I'm hitting the button, so I just get a little bit of drag right about there on my bit, and I know I'm just about perfect, and I can zero out my Z at that point. All right, so now we can move on. I'm gonna go back to continuous jog by hitting the button three times and I'm gonna jog the Z up again. And now I'm gonna show you distance jog. So I'm hitting the mode button two times and I'm in distance jog. And currently I got it set at 25.4, which for you guys that's one inch in millimeters. And I'm gonna hit okay and now each time if I'm in distance at 25.4, if I hit the Y minus, it's gonna move an inch. Or if I hit the Z minus, it's gonna move an inch, and so forth. This is a good thing to do to check calibration on your X, Y, and Z. You can mark it a certain location, or you can use your V bit and have a location and tell it to jog or hit the button like four times on, on X minus one, two, three, four. And that should measure out to be four inches. That covers the three ways to move our spindle around the tabletop. If you have any more questions, call us at our 800 number or go to our website, lagunatools.com. Thank you.